Great Smoky Mountains National Park, Tennessee. A seven-year-old girl died early Wednesday morning after a tree fell on her tent in the Elkmont campground. Officials with the Great Smoky Mountains National Park said. Responders from Gatlinburg Fire Department, Gatlinburg Police Department, and the National Park Service responded to a site around 12.30 a.m. Wednesday. The other family members, a father and two siblings, were not hurt. The large tree, a red maple, was approximately two feet in diameter, officials said. The campground is still open, but the site and all the sites around it are closed. That report was from uh, WVLT in uh, Knoxville. It's a sad tragedy. And let me tell you something, the Smokies have had their share of tragedies this year. Uh, they had a flood about two weeks back. They had to rescue 400 people in the middle of the night because of, because of flooding rains. Um, Danny reached out to me Wednesday when that happened, or when it came out in the news and everything. Of course, he lives up in Townsend. He reached out to me and told me to check it out. I did. I shared it on some other social media networks on Instagram and my website and a couple other places. Just sad. And me and him talked about it a little bit via text messages. I was at work. He was at work. Um, you know, me and my wife were talking about it and I said we go to these places and we camp, tents, whatever. We take the Jeeps, we go off-roading and everything, all that good nonsense. And we do everything we can to be as safe as we can when we're on the trail, when we're in camp, you know, hiking, backpacking, whatever you're doing, whitewater rafting. Tragedy can strike no matter where you're at. It can happen when you're sitting at home. I had somebody say, um, somebody else I know say, you know, uh, you know, you're out there in the woods, I'm like, yeah, but you know how many trees I've camped under in my lifetime? None of them fell on me. You can't predict what's going to happen. You know, me and Bill could be in a Jeep a week from now and some stupid something happened that none of us can control and we're taken away like that. That could be me in that news press. Could be you. Could be anybody. But I told Danny, I said, you know, I look at it this way. If that's what happens, I went out doing something I liked. I enjoyed. I really feel for this family. They've lost a young child. They didn't know that tree could fall over. I had no way of knowing. Now, granted, I hear more about it. The conditions were been raining a lot the day before and that that night. So you can say the ground was pretty soft. I would imagine it was starting to soften up. But Danny said on top of that, the winds were really bad about that time of night. And I've been up there in after storms, during storms, the winds can get pretty weird in those in the mountains. They it can go from you can be 50 mile an hour wind down on the ground to 80, 90, 100 miles an hour. It easily can topple a tree. Like I said, I feel for this family. They lost a child, but they were doing something they enjoyed. They were camping. And you can't just sit at home and go back and forth to work every day. And if you think to yourself, well, I'm safe from anything, well, you're, you're, 
you're lying to yourself. We can die walking out the door. We can die sitting in our car. We can die driving down the road. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter when it's your time to go, it's your time to go. We can be as safe as we want to be and it's just the fluke of nature, tree falling over, flood waters coming up out of nowhere. I read the reports on the flooding that happened at the campground up there. It was a different campground, pretty sure. Yeah, because that was, hang on. Yeah, that was Elkmont. The, uh, there was a, I, I don't think it was Elkmont the flooded waters happened. If it did, tell me down below if you saw it too. But things like this happen all the time. It happens a lot. There's nothing anybody can do about it. Just enjoy yourself. Um, I'm going to be going away for... Still haven't decided what I'm going to do. Four day, three night, three night, four day, or two day, whatever. Two night, three day. But I'm going to be going away pretty much by myself to Daniel Boone National Forest. Got all kinds of lines of communication. But anything can happen. Anything can happen. I mean, you just, you don't ever know. But you know what? If something does, I can gosh darn guarantee I'm doing something I enjoy. And that's camping, overlanding, whatever you want to call it, whatever name you want to put on it. Whether you hunt, you fish, you could slip... You could slip fishing, hit your head on a rock, fall in, and you're done. You have a stroke sit, or a heart attack sitting on a boat fishing, fall in, you're done. You could fall off a cliff backpacking or hiking, end up at the bottom, break your neck, you're done. But we take those chances because we like what we're doing. We're having fun. We're enjoying ourselves. We're enjoying nature. You know, the Jeeps, you know, yeah, climbing a hill like this, the Jeep can flip over and you don't have to go up that hill if you don't want to. But that's part of the excitement. That's part of the excitement. And sounds like, you know, this is a family camping trip. They were probably having a blast. Nobody knew that tree was going to fall. It did for a reason. But there was nothing anybody could do about it. So anyways, guys, um, remember when you do head out there to do your adventures, stay as safe as you can, but enjoy yourself. Have fun. There's always added risk to anything outside your house. There's always added risk. I just wanted to get that out there, put my thoughts to it. I've been thinking about it ever since Danny sent me that and I actually looked it up a couple different news sources and stuff and just hard, you know, sometimes it's hard to comprehend. It's To me, it's harder to comprehend that than it is some of the other things that happen out there. But I understand it too. We look for the widow makers, you know, trees look great. We don't know what's going on on the ground, though. We don't know what could happen condition-wise to change everything in an instant. All right, guys, that's it, because I'm going to start rambling. I appreciate you watching. Hug your loved ones, because you never know. You just never know. Be prepared.